Ever wondered where the hottest place on earth is? Prepare to embark on a journey into the heart of the California desert, a place known as Death Valley. The discovery of this scorching locale dates back to the gold rush of 1849, when European Americans stumbled upon this desolate stretch in their quest for gold. A group of pioneers got lost amidst the towering sand dunes and arid expanses. Convinced that they wouldn't make it out alive, they named it Death Valley. But despite its ominous name and hostile environment, Death Valley is far from lifeless. A surprising array of plants and animals call this place home, having adapted ingeniously to survive its unforgiving conditions. Even in this harsh landscape, life finds a way. So that's how Death Valley was discovered and got its name, but what makes it the hottest place on Earth? Let's dive into that next. Death Valley is infamous for its extreme heat, but just how hot does it get? Picture this. On the 10th of July, 1913, the temperature at Furnace Creek, a fittingly named location in the California desert, reached a scorching 56.7 degrees Celsius or 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit. This wasn't just a record for Death Valley, but for the entire planet. That's right, Death Valley holds the record for the highest air temperature on Earth. The heat in Death Valley isn't just a fluke, it's a result of its unique geographical features. Nestled between mountain ranges, Death Valley is a below sea level basin. Now you may be wondering, what does this have to do with the heat? Well, this basin acts like a trap, ensnaring hot, dry air. With nowhere to go, this air gets heated over and over again, creating a furnace-like environment. There's another factor to consider, vegetation or rather, the lack thereof. Plants play a crucial role in regulating temperatures. They absorb sunlight and release moisture, cooling the air in the process. But in Death Valley, vegetation is sparse. The arid conditions make it nearly impossible for plants to survive, let alone thrive. Without this natural cooling system, the heat has free reign, pushing temperatures to extreme levels. And while the record-breaking temperature of 56.7 degrees Celsius is mind-boggling, it's not an everyday occurrence. But don't be fooled. Death Valley summer is no picnic either. Average temperatures often rise above 45 degrees Celsius, or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than most of us would ever care to experience. So, there you have it. Death Valley's unique geography and lack of vegetation make it a literal hot spot. But is there more to this place than just heat? Despite its harsh conditions, Death Valley teems with life. Would you believe it if we told you that this hot desert is home to more than 1,000 species of plants and several species of animals? Yes, it's true. Life has a way of adapting and thriving even in the most inhospitable environments. Let's start with the plants. The creosote bush and the mesquite tree are two of the most common plants in Death Valley. These plants have developed unique ways to conserve water. They have tiny leaves to reduce evaporation and deep roots to tap into underground water sources. The desert holly is another resilient plant that grows in the valley, featuring thick silver-gray leaves that reflect sunlight, helping the plant to stay cool. Then we have the animals. The kangaroo rat is a prime example of how life adapts to the desert's extreme conditions. This small mammal can survive without ever drinking water, getting all the moisture it needs from the seeds it eats. Then there's the desert tortoise, which spends most of its life underground to escape the scorching heat. It goes into a state of estivation, a summer hibernation during the hottest months. Occasionally, Death Valley witnesses a rare and beautiful phenomenon known as the super bloom. This happens when, given the right conditions of rainfall and temperature, the valley floor is covered in a carpet of wildflowers. It's a breathtaking sight, transforming the barren desert into a sea of color. The super bloom is a testament to the resilience of life, a reminder that beauty can bloom even in the harshest of surroundings. So Death Valley is not just about extreme heat, it's a testament to the resilience of life in the face of adversity. From its daunting name to its record-breaking temperatures, Death Valley truly is one of the most fascinating places on our planet.